Hello and welcome. Today we will code unsupervised learning. We will code agglomerative clustering. But before we start coding agglomerative clustering, I will tell you about what is difference between supervised learning and unsupervised learning. What is clustering and how, what are the types of clustering? What is agglomerative clustering and what is hierarchical clustering or uh, what is uh, partitional clustering? So. Uh, before i start coding agglomerative clustering let let uh, me tell you about supervised learning and supervised learning about clustering so that you didn't get uh, you don't get confused and you have a basic idea of what what is the difference between them and why we use clustering so i have actually opened a, a, a chrome where i have this diagram so as you can see in this picture you can see the difference between supervised learning and super unsupervised learning the basic difference and the key difference between supervised learning and unsupervised learning is that uh, supervised learning have a label has a label with the data let's say we have an input data apple there will be an annotation that these are apples then we feed these label and input data into machine learning model and it predicts whether it is apple or not with and on contrary to that in unsupervised learning there is no label that is a key difference between supervised learning and unsupervised learning supervised learning comes with a label unsupervised uh, is learning doesn't have any label so as you can see in unsupervised learning we have banana we have uh, apple we have oranges we feed that into machine learning model and machine learning predicts model predicts whether it is an apple orange and banana or banana how so if we uh, i go back there is this picture which uh, uh, explain this in little more detail in unsupervised learning we get an input data of apple banana and oranges it, this is an example which i am taking and we have an output data with, uh, which uh, tells us that okay this is a banana this is an orange but there is one more data point in our uh, input data which is an apple and it is like not labeled we have uh, 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 nothing which explains that this is an apple so what uh, machine learning do, uh, unsupervised uh, learning does, is that it takes banana and it takes uh, it takes whole input data and it div uh, like keeps on dividing it to single point, uh, whether uh, where he can uh, where it can check it is apple, oranges or banana. So um, by this property, unsupervised learning uh, get to know whether it is an apple, banana or an orange to explain it it move further so here it is in just a second in supervised learning we use uh, the algorithm classification we classify the our data with uh, labels we, uh, on contrary to that in unsupervised learning we uh, use a clustering method what is clustering as you can see that here is a data point let's consider this as whole as uh, our input data so we made a cluster of this data we made a cluster of this data we made a cluster of this data and after like when we feed this into our machine learning algorithm uh, or uh, it will take all this data and then it will make uh, one more clusters a smaller cluster uh, let's say with this data with this data with this data with this data and again it will make small cluster it will go on till we reach to the singularity and that's how clustering works and that's how he uh, like machine learning finds okay uh, this is an apple this is a banana and this is an orange so uh, if we are taking our example so uh, how many types of clusterings are there so clustering is generally divided into two parts which is uh, our agglomerative clustering or which is our um, hierarchical clustering and agglomerative clustering and we have a partial of uh, uh, partitional clustering so uh, what is agglomerative and what is partitional clustering so uh, in uh, our hierarchical or agglomerative clustering uh, we have overlapping of data like we have a data which overlap with each other and we divided uh, that data hierarchically while in uh, our partitional clustering uh, there is no overlapping of uh, our data so in partitional clustering we have uh, algorithm like k-means fuzzy mean and uh, in our uh, this uh, hierarchical, hierarchical clustering we have uh, our agglomerative clustering and device, uh, divisive clustering so uh, let's check what is 
agglomerative clustering and how this device of clustering works so in our hierarchical clustering you can see that this is a hierarchy of things hierarchy is let's say uh, if I have, I have to take an example um, let's say you have your uh, family tree your family tree is like your grand grandparents and then your parents then you and your siblings and everything so that tree divides into a hierarchy then it divides into a hierarchy and that divides into a hierarchy this figure is known as dendogram like uh, this thing is known as dendogram so as you can see that divisive clustering and agglomeratic clustering are just uh, reverse of each other this whole thing is known as hierarchical clustering because it is representing and it is in the form of hierarchy but in divisive clustering we have our whole data set then we divide that data set into two parts or n parts then we divide this part into n parts this part into n parts then we divide this part into n parts and this part into n parts and can be any number based on the size of your data set so um, in uh, divisive clustering we divide data like from bigger to smaller till singularity in agglomerative clustering we have single data points which we merge with each other to get a bigger picture let's say in agglomerative clustering we will uh, like uh, take a b and we will make it one then we will take ABC and it will be one DE with one and when, then we will add these two to get a bigger picture. So I hope now you have a basic uh, understanding of uh, what is supervised learning, what is unsupervised learning, what is hierarchical clustering, what is uh, partitional clustering. We will code partitional clustering also but in uh, this video we will code agglomerative clustering which is a form of hierarchical clustering. Um, and um, in our hierarchical clustering we have agglomerative clustering and we have divisive clustering then in uh, our uh, partitional clustering we have fuzzy k-mean and uh, fuzzy c-mean so this was the uh, like a uh, basic explanation of uh, what we are going to do so in next video we will start coding our agglomerative clustering